Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video right as my neighbor pulls in with his obnoxiously loud, exhausted uh, cobalt. The car is so bad. Anyway, um, <laughs> I figured I'd go back to a video series that I haven't done in a long time where I basically take a game that I've never heard of and just tear it apart. In this case, it's actually something very old. It's a game called RPM World. I had actually never heard of it. Apparently, it was an online drag racing game that came out around the same time as 555R Challenge, and it's also Adobe Flash, just like the Nitto 1320 games. So I wanted to rip the game apart, see how it's coded, how it works, <clears throat> make sure, see if there's any protection, and what could really be done with it. Um, it, it was difficult to track down. I ended up having to do some uh, index of searching just to find the game, and I found it on some guy's server uh, that was like titled Win95 Games, and like I have to trust this EXE that it's just not bad. Um, <laughs> I don't trust it, but I'm going to do this for you guys. So let's open up the game, see what happens, turn off my... Holy shit, rip headphone users. <coughs> So new players click here, players online, version 463, what's help? There's instructions. Okay. Doesn't go full screen. I can fix that. <laughs> Manual transmission must be shifty using the up or down arrow keys located on your keyboard. Since there is no clutch, do not shift a manual transmission until you are ready to move. If you upshift too soon, the car will stall. If you... And you will need to downshift in order to continue. Automatic transmissions are simple, but slower. Not true anymore. The accelerator will look like this. Cool. The graphics depicted here are an example of what you will see on the track. So this is for that. Let's go to tech support. That's going to open up a web page. <clears throat> that doesn't exist anymore, so we're going to close that. Um, your privacy... Click here to read privacy statement. No. Lost password and about RPM world. User.php. So the game was originally PHP. Huh. Cool. So the information about the development. Copyright 2005. So that is the last time there was a version update. Got it. Menu. There's login. New player. Who's here? Edit password. Scoreboard. And team list. Let's look at login. Basic login. Got it new player I agree username email email <clears throat> submit so it emails you a password cool I like that who's here nobody edit password <laughs> cool um, scoreboard that's probably like leaderboards and team list so it had team racing and everything that's really cool so let's try to rip this so if you've never heard of the tool before, this is something we used early on with 1320 Challenge, and even still kind of use it sometimes. It's called JPEX's Flash Decompiler. It's very useful in the world of Adobe Flash modifications. You want to go to Tools, you want to go Search, SWF, and Memories, which is, this is actually how we crack Legends eventually. Um, where is it? <coughs> it crashed. <laughs> oh, there it is. It was just searching through all the processes. Processes, process I, process O. So we need to find RPM world. Huh, so there's two. Interesting. I don't have two versions of the game running. No SWF found, so we're going to try this one. I know it's possible to get the SWF this way. Because I saw dead download links on... <coughs> Um, whatchamacallit, uh, cheatengine.com or cheatengine.org. We're going to just extract all of them. Um, I have it in my V1 folder because it was just easier. So SWF extracted. And we're going to put everything here. So this is going to be 0.swf, 1.swf. 2.swf and 3.swf. <coughs> there we go. 
So now let's just open all of them, see what they are, see what they do. Uh, file size, 2KB, that's going to be nothing. 25, that's going to be something. This is just a basic script. Version to array, so it's a version check. That makes sense, and it checks to make sure you have Adobe Flash. And then get server version, so it does that as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, we'll close that. So that one isn't important. We'll save the two big ones for last. We'll do three. Ah, this has some stuff in it. Ah, okay, this is pointless. We'll go in size order. So here's one. Wow, it already went straight to opening up frame one. Interesting. So this is probably, this is the game. And then I just want to check the other one because it is bigger. <clears throat> it's probably the game as well. This will probably be the one I'd mess with. Just because there's more to it. But let's see. So there's shit. All the cars are here. That's good. There's a lot of cars. Wow. That's not what I expected. There's definitely some 1320 challenge looking assets in here. <laughs> definitely are here. Interesting. I like it. Like, doesn't that look like the exact same crowd? Um, let's see, sprites, RPM world, some animations probably. Oh yeah, no, it's not the same. I like the gauges. More cars, text, not much to it, images, just more stuff for this. So how do cars and stuff work? How do you like watch them move? Because I don't see anything that looks like a track, on track car thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Does it like put you in the driver's seat or what? I, God, these stupid colds last forever, I swear to God. Huh. Interesting. So let's look at the programming. So, interesting. So there's an encryption built into the game already. Interesting. So this is actually, I th think, we're going to have to find an older version if we want Action Script 1 or 2, because this definitely looks like 3. No, er, no, it's 2. <clears throat> Let's see here. Nothing. Global Properties. Yeah, this is definitely very well coded. This is definitely not your average action script 2 or whatever. Interesting. That's the only thing I really want to change, is allow full screen and allow scale. <clears throat> there we go, save that. Sick. So, frame one is good. Oops. And frame two. Just to stop. So everything else here is going to be a different sprite. Like, this is the login sprite. That's... Good to know. So, it works a lot like Legends, actually. A lot like Legends. Because it works with XML. So it's converting everything to X. That's a very interesting way to do it. I like it. So let's try going... So that's login... bunch of different things. I like it. Let's see what's next. It's a PayPal button. <laughs> cool. 
garage area and pit area. So this is the another help menu it looks like. Finding opponents online, I like it. And the way it does the timer is actually just by a really long video. And then it'll do like a go to, I'm guessing. Go to one and start over. So we're not going to wait for that. So you can sell your car. Stop. Full stop. Stop. Yep, nothing fun there. Sell car. So. Interesting. Here's racing. Not that many frames. Different tachometers. I like it. Here's the code for it. If RPM is below 3300, go to and play 4. What's 4? So this is actually controlling like RPM drop as if you're launching. So it'll drop 100 RPMs and then just fly upwards, I guess. So that's interesting. Otherwise, you get tire, gr uh, tire grip issues, I'm guessing. <clears throat> Shift light is pre-coded. OK. Interesting. I like how this game looks. I like how it works. It wouldn't be difficult to replicate, but the server might be. Lights, player B, the line thing. Lights, join a tournament. Cool, there were tournaments. That's really cool. Sending challenge, waiting for a response. Was it live racing? Quote unquote. Because if that's waiting for a response, you're waiting for the other person to send to accept the race this might be live racing that's really freaking cool for 1999 then again they could have also added it at a later date um, because again this is a version of the game from 2005 but this is cool Solo race, cool. Race yourself when you have no friends. Cancel challenge. This is really interesting. Oh shit. They have car trading. They had car trading. That's really cool. Oh, <laughs> superchargers, so there's custom parts for building nitrous systems. Is that supposed to be 666 or 999? Balance and blueprint this engine. Interesting. Huh. I don't know what any of these red line things are. They don't seem to make any sense. Give me one second here. I feel a coughing fit coming on because colds in Ohio last you months. Give me one second. All right, we good. Had to be my fat ass little self and take a drink out of my two by or my uh, two liter. Funny how the soda between my legs is bigger than the engine in my car. Interesting, I like it. There's a lot of cool stuff to this game, and it would be very cool to see it running. I wonder if I can get in contact with the original developer, because I did happen to find his website. While I was digging around for this game, I found his new website, and I wonder if he actually still has access to the code and like the server code for this, and if he would be willing to put it back up. That'd be really cool, because there's definitely... Albeit a small community, but it wouldn't take much to run a game like this. 
even then, he was saying that at most he had 5,000 players, I think, in his database, which it would be far more now. I'm sure of it. Because not everybody had a computer back in, you know, like 1999. But computers are... F there's far more here now. Um, we're going to save this. <clears throat> so it can be stretched. It's a cool little game. I really do like it. So if we go login, it doesn't actually do anything from here. But I can open this. I didn't want to open it this way. Away with you. Oh, I don't have Flash Player installed. Okay, never mind. Well, it looks like it's definitely a fun little game. Um, and even then, calling it little with how many cars it has and stuff like that, it's still a very well thought out game. It looks like it was very well made. And maybe I will contact the developer. I'll see if there is any interest. I'll explain, you know, 1320 Challenge and, you know, all that. I'll explain how there is a community that wants these old school Flash games back. And that we want a drag racing game of sorts back in our lives for PC that isn't pay to win. And I'll see if he still has the files and go from there. I wouldn't plan on making any money off of this. That would be really stupid. Um, you know, get the source code. The only thing I'd probably remove would be the buying of currency and just make it easier to make in-game. But other than that, leave it how it is. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope this was a little eye-opening to some of you who have never heard of RPM World. And it definitely was to me. So I'm going to see what we can do. And I'll go from there. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.